Gets me every time. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of the Toro 60 volt 24 inch cordless head strip. If I'm fishing, then I'm fine. I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line. So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck inside, search G4 Outdoors YouTube online. Well, as I look all right, I want to start off by giving a huge shout out to Toro and a huge thank you to Toro for sending all these products out for me to review. I got a hedge trimmer, a weed eater, a blower, a mower, all for me to review for you guys to get a quick glimpse in and see what they're all about. Later on in these videos, uh, guys hit the subscribe button if you want to know more about these because I'm going to go into reviews. I'm actually going to be using these products to see how they handle on some, well, some thicker stuff. I've got a whole line of trees right here that I'm actually going to be shaving off the sides of those. So it's thick stuff that I'm actually going to be abusing these products with. It's not designed for this stuff, uh, but I'm going to do it just to find out if it holds up to all of the abuse that that takes. I also have hedges in the front of my yard. I also have evergreens that I need to trim up. There's one right behind me here that we can chop on. Uh, so anyways, huge shout out to Toro guys. Thank you guys. So first let's talk about the battery power on here and what these numbers actually mean. It is a 60 volt battery. So the 60 volt, to put it into different terms that you might understand, 60 volt is going to be your horsepower or torque. So that's going to be the power that this machine is able to produce. That's going to get you through, that's going to determine how thick of a head you're going to be able to get through. Uh, if you're doing limbs, evergreens or whatever, the 60 volt is going to determine how much power that has to get through it. So 60 volt is quite large in the handheld power tool equipment. The 2.5 amp hours and the 135 watt hours, uh, they both go hand in hand. 2.5 amp hours is going to be the longevity of runtime for this. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the torque or anything like that. So as you see here on top, it does have a 90 degree rotating head and that is a fantastic option. I've used some power hedge trimmers that have the rotating head on there. And if I can demonstrate that without opening it up real quick, most of the time when you're doing hedges, you're stuck in one position. You got your hand on top of the handle and you got your, your trigger grip right here. And you're stuck in this position. So you're going along the top of the hedges, you're going up and down the hedges. So, you know, this hand over here really isn't too comfortable when you're doing that. The good thing about the 90 degree head is you can flip that handle up and now you're very ergonomically set to run more hedges in a quicker amount of time. It's also going to give you a straighter edge just because you're more comfortable and it's a lot more ergonomic to be able to keep that trimmer just in the shape that you want it. Next up, it's going to have an exclusive blade design. Exclusive, uh, I don't know. It's hardened steel blades. So this also comes with a 24 inch bar on it. Uh, 24 is, is a pretty good bar. It's uh, kind of standard, I think. You can get really, really long bars on your gas-powered ones. But if you're using those, you're more than likely in the contracting business and you probably need that much more. A homeowner, you're not going to need much more than 24. Uh, I don't know how deep a lot of hedges are. Three foot, so you're going to have to make two passes on the top as far as the side of hedges go. Uh, you know, so, some are taller, some are lower. A lot of times your hedges are going to be about two feet tall, so one pass on this is going to be great. Coming down here to the statistics of this, the runtime on this, according to the box, is 75 minutes. If I have to go 75 minutes trimming hedges, I'm going to be wore out. So luckily I don't have 75 minutes worth of hedges to trim, but this does have enough power in it to run up to 75 minutes. We'll get into the longevity on, on that in a video after this. I'm going to be testing out the power and the longevity of that. So stick around for that video. Now it says here on the box that the charge time is 60 minutes. Now when you take this out of the box, more than likely there's going to be one bar of power on this. And from my experience, when you're down to one bar, it only takes 30 minutes or less to charge a battery. Now I did bring an extra battery out here to run this. That way I don't have to run back, charge these and come back. So there is a battery out here. It was on half power and it took me under 15 minutes to charge a half charged battery. So in the feasibility of things, when you use this and then when you put it up, if you know you're gonna be trimming hedges, go charge your battery 
then get prepared to mow your hedges and you're going to have a full battery before you even get out there and ready to go. Now another great feature on this is a three year product and three year battery warranty. Guys, you're already money ahead. Uh, I didn't even talk about the price. 200 bucks for this with the battery, 150 without the battery, roundabouts. If you paid 150 for this and you already have a battery, you're money ahead over a gas powered tool. Hedge trimmers aren't something that you're gonna be using on a weekly basis. It's like twice a year maybe that you'll be doing your hedges. So if you think about your gas trimmer sitting on the wall for that amount of time not being used, it's you, you got gas in there that's gonna go stale. Uh, it's just something, it's, it's not problematic, but it is something that you have to be able to do is maintain your gas powered equipment. With the battery powered equipment, take the battery out of this, throw this up on the wall, up on a shelf, use your battery for something that you're going to be using more often, like your blower or string trimmer. This thing is gonna be just as you left it three months down the road. So, you know, even at the price, you're, you're just money ahead right off going into these. Not only are you gonna be money ahead just by the initial purchase of these, it's also in the longevity of them. So anyway, I think I rambled on entirely too long. Let's get to unboxing this. You know, something I wish I would have said before I opened this box. Uh, one thing that I would really like to see in this box is a blade protector. So right off the bat, I see it in here. Uh, it's something I wish I would have said beforehand, but I didn't. But it's in here, so it's a really good deal. Uh, first thing that catches my attention here is the battery charger. Now the battery charger is a very heavy duty. It's, it's kind of large. Uh, really nice to hang on your wall or sit on a countertop. It does have rubber feet here. It also has mounting brackets to where you can just put a screw on the wall and hang this on the wall. It's got an LED indicator light right here. Your charging indicator, charged indicator, uh, bad battery or whatnot over here. Also, this does have a cooling fan in it to cool your battery down as it's charging. Uh, it is kind of a loud fan and this goes with all of your large battery chargers. They will have fans in them. The better ones will have fans in them, so it's a really good thing that it has a fan in here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Next up, you're gonna have your 60 volt battery. I really like that these batteries are so light and compact for what they are, 60 volt, and the amp hours on them, it's, it's a great size battery. So next up, we do have the hedge trimmer. They tied a nice little bow in here for me. All right, so let's talk about this real quick. Uh, first, an initial opinions and thoughts on this. Here up here on the front, you've got your safety switch. Uh, this does have to be depressed in order to run the blades. I'm not gonna stick a battery on this until I'm actually ready to use it. This hedge trimmers kind of scare me. It's something that you can get your finger in there and it's gone and this thing isn't gonna care about it. So safety switch up here on the handle. So you will have to have two hands on this at all times. As far as the weight of this goes, it's a very standard weight. I'm not saying it's heavy. It's not light. Uh, you're probably gonna get a workout if you're using this for quite a while. Uh, like I say, not sure of the exact weight. It's not heavy. It's definitely manageable. As far as how everything feels on it, how it would feel doing hedges. It feels pretty comfortable so far. It's got a nice hand guard right here so that you're not going to slip forward. Now, what, here's one thing that I mentioned on the comfort grips. Let me show you something right here. There's a, there's a mold line right here. And I, I know I'm being real petty about it but it's something that it gets me every time. Uh, anytime there's a mold line, you're gonna have these little bitty ridges that stick up along the mold lines. It's something that uh, I think that it would be easy, easy for manufacturers to take care of. What I will be doing on this is just taking a piece of sandpaper and just quickly going over this. It, it's not much to even talk about, guys. It's just something that bugs me on a lot of equipment. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take a piece of sandpaper over there really quick just to get rid of that 
ridge. And back here on the handle where it has the comfort grip, uh, this is very much like the uh, string trimmer. So as you can see right here, this, whoo, this lip right here, this piece of rubber is a little bit higher than this plastic. So when you put your hand on here, how can I show this? You know, you've, you've just got uneven surfaces right here. And when you're handling this for a long time, it's right, right in here is where you're going to get a hot spot. Uh, again, like I say, it's something that I really shouldn't even be talking about because it's, I think that if you didn't know about it, you wouldn't talk about it, but it's something that I want to bring up because I did notice it on the string trimmers. Not that big of a deal, but okay, shut up. Quit talking about it. So here on the sides you have, I'm guessing these, yes, this is a safety switch, ambidextrous if you want to go that route. Uh, so you have to push the safety switch in in order to pull the trigger. Without those in, the trigger will not pull and you will not be able to operate your machine. So like I say, there's a safety switch up here and a safety switch right here. It is a two-handed machine at all times. Now, into the really cool part about this is the 90 degree turning head. A uh, big gigantic button up here, colored in blue. So anyway, depress this button and you can turn this head in either direction in a 90 degrees. And of course it does it lock into spot. So let me show you what I was talking about when you can, like if you're running, come over here. If you're running hedges like this, you can just see how unergonomic that is and how that can be a headache all day long with a simple switch. Oh my gosh. Uh, not to exaggerate things, but my elbow is clear up here when I'm going to be doing hedges. I can just feel that's the way I'm going to be working. Now I'm just down here and that's, you know, I've used these 90 degree heads before and they work out fantastic. And I really like that the way you can just keep control of it down here. It's such a great design and I'm glad they came out with that. So anyway, let's get a battery in here and see how this thing fires up. So like I say, I do have a pre-charged battery out here. And, you know, let's just start off on the quickness and preparedness of how these things are ready to run straight out of the box. If you have a gas trimmer, you're going to have to get your gas, make sure that it's mixed properly, and then pour it in to your fuel tank on your gas powered equipment. Then you're gonna have to choke it, prime it, pull, 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 with battery powered equipment, get your battery, plug it in, and it's ready to go. That is an awesome feature on the battery powered equipment. Now on the blower, I know I'm gonna love that because that way I can go inside my house, blow out all the dog hair, not annoy anybody. The wife really don't like that when I get my gas powered blower out and go through the house. She hates it. So again, I'm going to take this battery off of here to check these blades out. Make sure there's no residual power in there. The blades are very sharp. Very, very sharp. That's extremely sharp on these blades. Uh, I do like the all open blade design. This allows you to cut anything that it comes into contact with on the edges. With the open blade design on this, uh, it's not mentioned on the box or anything, it's just something that I'm gonna talk about. With the open blade design like this, you you can easily get stuff in here. So I don't know if you got those ugly, ugly box hedges that I have. It's really hard to, to get a good hedge trim on those because a lot of those wanna fall out of the way of the teeth, get pushed aside, knocked down or whatnot. But with open blade design, all of those hedges that are sticking up, these blades are just going to run right into them, cut them all up, and I like the open blade design. So anyway, let's put the battery back down here and see how this all feels. Uh, it does add a little bit of weight to the back, and again, as long as you can turn your handle like that, it's a lot more ergonomic. Going up top, it's very ergonomic to do flat trimming like this. Uh, it feels like it should. But once you get over here, you notice a lot of weight on the rear end of this. Now all that weight just disappeared just because you're able to hold it like this. 
uh, great design with the 90 degree. So anyways, guys, that's just a quick overview. May not have been that quick of a video, I apologize. So that's just a quick overview of the 60 volt uh, hedge trimmer. Guys, if hit the subscribe button because I have more products to review. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out the string trimmer review that I did a couple weeks ago. So again, thanks Toro for sending all this out for me to review. Guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Stick around for support some more. Leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next one. I'm out. It just seems to go away. Now you see fishing ain't a habit. It's a passion in my souls. When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass around my pole. Now for a minute or an hour. If I'm fishing, then I'm fine. I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line. So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck inside, search G4 Outdoors YouTube online.